Missing door plug that detached from Alaska Airlines plane found in Oregon teacher's backyards. Greetings ladies and gents and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We continue the discussion about what happened on this Alaska Airlines plane. The Boeing 737 MAX. The plane had this issue recently on a commercial flight. This door just blew off of the plane and then the passengers, they can see the night sky out the window or rather out the door because there was no door on that plane that happened at 16,000 feet and everybody was terrified. It was a terrifying event. Very interesting fact that door was found in a teacher's backyard. So this is the article that we're gonna check right now is from NBC News from the US. Uh, the missing door plug that detached from Alaska Airlines plane found in Oregon teacher's backyard. It's good that the device has been found because it will help with the investigation and already the culprit is basically loose bolts. But uh, up until then they heard a bang. There was communication issues on board the Boeing 737 MAX as flight crew reported hearing a loud noise and the cabin rapidly depressurizing Friday evening over the Portland area. Communication was a serious issue. At the same time, the cockpit door opened violently and the laminated checklist pilots used in an emergency situation flew out, the chair said. All right, so basically even the checklist that they are supposed to use in case of the emergency, it flew out the plane because of the vacuum created, the suction uh, that was created because of the difference in pressure. Whenever something like this happened, and we talked about rapid depressurization on my previous video, everything will fly out of the plane. Everything will fly out. Now the good part is it was only 16,000 feet. If this was, if this was 32,000 feet or 38,000 feet, let's say um, an appropriate altitude that usually is flown by commercial airliners, then it's going to be much more uh, violent than that. Huge difference in. Uh, pressure. It is mentioned that the actions of the flight crew were really incredible. It was very violent when the door was expelled out of the plane. Well, of course, the door just flew out with an explosive bang out of the aircraft. Both seats in row 26 were missing their headrests and one was missing a seat back. In all, damage was found along 12 of the plane's seat rows, she said. The Boeing 737 MAX, uh, the model flown in the Alaskan Airlines incident, is grounded again and issues a direct and issued a directive requiring inspections before a certain aircraft can fly again. So the plane has been grounded and there's 171 planes worldwide. That's quite a dip in the capacity. So flights canceling, all that stuff. Now this is where I wanted to get analyzing the door plug. So this specific door was found in a teacher's garden, basically. Investigators are looking at how the door plug a panel where optional emergency exit can be placed depending on passenger capacity was fastened before it blew out of the plane. They also want to know more about air pressurization alerts that went off on the plane during flights on December 7th and Wednesday and Thursday, the later being the days before the accident. So basically there was already warning signs in the cockpit. The, the pilots, they get those warning lights about pressurization from this door, but nothing was done about it. Well, because we find out by Friday's night's flight from Portland to Ontario, California, that inspection hadn't been completed. They didn't investigate those warning lights in the cockpit. They just flew the plane. And here we have it. The Portland teacher who found the door plug that fell off a Boeing 737 while in flight thinks the trees in his backyard may have helped preserve evidence. So basically it stumbled upon some trees in the, the fall of this door and then that kind of helped. The door is not that affected. <laughs> so that's the mini plug door. It's quite small, right? This gentleman, Sauer, heard about the incident Friday but didn't check his garden until Sunday after a friend told him a cell phone from the flight had been found on a nearby street. Sauer said he pulled out the flashlight and noticed something white in a tree. <laughs> Damn, I think it's pretty likely that it would have come at least through the roof or made a big dent in my car. So I'm really glad it landed where it did. Imagine if it landed on somebody's head. Like just imagine that door, heavy. 
uh, that would be a very bad day. God forbid. God forbid. Of course, NTSB agents arrived at the, the guy's home. He didn't touch it for fear of destroying evidence. And after finding this uh, door in his garden, the guy kind of became a local celebrity. Let's just put it this way. Everybody wants to ask him questions and find out things about this door and about this uh, situation. He said he spent the first 15 minutes of his class talking about it, but students were more interested in the event uh, than the science surrounding it. And then they say uh, this guy flies for vacations and prefers the window seats. And even with things like this happening, statistically, it's much safer to fly, he said. Well, uh, ladies and gents, I do agree with that. Um, there has been two incidents already in 2024. It's been this Japanese uh, air crash that happened in Haneda Airport. We talked about that. And now this incident, which is super unusual and super weird, involving the 737 MAX. And it's just the start of the year. Statistically speaking, aircrafts and aviation is very, very, very safe nowadays. And every single accident or incident, it leads to a much better, let's say, safety environment um, that we can all be part of, right? Us working in aviation and, of course, everybody else uh, flying those planes, the passengers, and so on and so forth. So nowadays, it's pretty safe regardless. But uh, nevertheless, it's very weird. Two incidents just happening like that in a short time span after the new year. Now, as I said before, a lot of things fell out of that aircraft that day. You know, t-shirts, phones were sucked out of the plane um, because of difference in pressure. And uh, one interesting story, an iPhone, an iPhone fell out of Alaskan Airlines flight 1282 and survived. So we're just going to talk about this. This comes from The Verge. Uh, game designer Sean Bates found an iPhone in a bush Sunday that had fallen from Alaskan Airlines Flight 1282 when it lost a part of its fuselage shortly after takeoff. The phone was undamaged, still on, and had the <laughs> end of a sheared off charging cable plugged in. The phone fell out of the plane when just a few minutes after takeoff the Boeing 737 MAX decompressed explosively sending a fuselage plug door basically flying off the plane and forcing it to turn around and make an emergency landing at Portland airport. So this is the picture of the phone that was found and it survived the crash. It survived falling from 16,000 feet, ladies and gents. That's quite a good um, iPhone case that that guy has right there. <laughs> I mean, you know, I used to watch those videos about uh, dropping a phone from a certain distance and watching how much it cracks, how much the screen cracks and comparing two phones. For example, Samsung and Apple, they always used to compare those in those kind of videos. And uh, now we have <laughs> exclusively a phone that survived 16,000 feet. Uh, which is absolutely crazy, and it's an iPhone. Yeah, I think it's an iPhone 14. For sure, Apple can use this as a commercial in future uh, events, let's say. Uh, anyways, ladies and gents, this has been for today's video. I hope you enjoyed those kind of news. Um, what do you think about the situation? So a door fell, it was found, now it's being investigated. And also we have an iPhone that survived, apart from getting a huge scare, everybody was okay. Uh, but it seems like this iPhone was okay as well. Yeah, what do you think about that? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. More videos like this coming soon. Bye-bye.